Welcome to VM Blog's 2022 Mega Series. And today we have with us Neil Riva, the Principal Product Manager at Jump Cloud. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, thanks so much for having me. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Uh, and as the Principal Product Manager, I'm the head of the Jump Cloud Authentication team from the product standpoint. And so I'm just really excited to talk to you. Yeah, we're, we're glad to have you. So I, I guess if we want, let's let's jump in. And uh, if you could tell us about Jump Cloud and maybe what you anticipate over the next 12 months, what, what Jump Cloud will look like. Great. Well, Jump Cloud created the Open Directory platform really to fulfill our mission of making remote work happen. I mean, at the end of the day, users just want to get work done. And organizations want to make sure that those users do it securely. So we make that happen. Jump Cloud securely connects users to virtually any IT resource, devices, networks, cloud apps, servers, et cetera. We work with over 180,000 small to medium enterprises and our product led growth model means that we're really in tune with what IT admins and our partners need. As I understand it, Jump Cloud uses kind of a directory approach um, why do you think a directory approach is the best? Well, as opposed to protecting from the outside in, a directory approach uh, allows us to protect from the inside out. But first, let me back up a bit and talk about the history of the directory and, and how that kind of came about. Because back in the days of on-prem work, most corporations, companies, enterprises used Active Directory. Most of the machines were Windows-based. Everyone was in a physical office. So it, it kind of made sense. But with the shift to cloud, the whole world changed. Uh, AD couldn't really manage user access to AWS cloud servers. Mac OSs and Linux were left in the dust. Google Workspace or the raft of other non-Microsoft technologies really were a struggle. So they had to extend AD by stitching together bridges and point solutions and identity bridges. Uh, privileged access management, MFA, identity governance, et cetera. That made AD work, but it didn't cover the whole uh, identity picture. So this is really why Jump Cloud created the Open Directory platform, to give a holistic solution to protect the identity. The platform manages and connects to virtually any IT resources. It includes Mac, Windows, and Linux, so no OS left behind. We also have iOS uh, as well. And we have web and on-premise uh, applications we support. We support standard protocols, LDAP, SAML, OpenID Connect, cloud and on-prem servers both, even back to SAMBA servers, you know, physical and virtual file servers and network access. So we protect network access, whether that's network access via a VPN or network access with Wi-Fi using uh, RADIUS. We offer both SSO and MFA and also patch management to make sure those devices and systems are always kept up to date in the highest security. So to your question about why a directory approach makes sense, I'd say as a directory, we sit at the inside and we give a 360 degree of protection around each employee. And with our open directory approach, our vision is to welcome identities from anywhere to anywhere. Now, uh, Neil, cyber attacks are making the front pages on a regular basis these days. What does this climate of continuous risk mean for security leaders? And what does it mean for MSP partners as well? Well, we all know that IT teams at these small medium enterprises, they get no sleep. They're the least rested group of employees. I think the IT teams are stepping up to the plate in recognition that vigilance has to be continuous. There's no time to let your guard down, but you need to ensure that with current threats that you're managing the risks as they arise. You also need to ensure that you're establishing processes and, and, and tracking issues. Even with the economic downturn, IT jobs are still in high demand and orgs do not want to lose all institution, do not want to lose institutional knowledge when that person leaves the company, that would be a disaster. Small medium enterprises are turning to MSPs in record numbers for IT. 
but more specifically for security and compliance, which is a real tough one to crack. Recently, our survey said that 90% of SMEs are already using or plan to use an MSP. That's huge. Can you tell us a little bit about the security impacts that came about because of COVID, uh, such as networking, remote work, you know, internet usage, uh, et cetera? Yeah, and uh, the COVID pandemic, depending on your definition, uh, is, is still very much prevalent or on the, on the cusp. But let's just back up a minute. It caught everyone by surprise. And the sudden shift to remote work, organizations were struggling. Um, the hacking uh, attempts skyrocketed. Really, by the end of about 2020, organizations finally got the memo and had to establish something different about their IT environments and had to handle remote work. Not only were they able to make sure that employees had secure access they needed, but also deploy security when those resources were protected. That was about the time I really remember an old friend of ours, Zero Trust, being mentioned again and again. People were really getting serious about it, but the small orgs were left behind, but they really wanted to talk about Zero Trust. So I think that COVID really accelerated the shift that had this transition then that everything needed to be protected and really this trust nothing verify everything approach, even for small and medium enterprises was needed. And right now, do you think, uh, or, or where do you think organizations aren't doing enough to combat cyber threats that are happening right now? No, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, you can never do enough. Uh, I think they rely too heavily on too many point solutions. So in doing that, uh, complexity goes up and then complexity introduces risk. We have to be careful about burdening employees too, because they suddenly have an increased amount of friction. Our survey found that two thirds of IT admins think that by adding security measures, they're really gonna add a lot of friction and cumbers it's gonna be more cumbersome for their users. And uh, that's an increase from last year. So that's two thirds again, 66% of IT admins think that. So at JumpCloud, we don't believe that adding security has to mean more friction. Companies are looking for a way to balance security and user experience. The JumpCloud Open Directory platform is a huge step towards that, as you'll see later on when we get a chance to, sh to sh show you the demo. I think your tagline is uh, make secure work happen. Is that correct? Uh, make remote work happen. Make remote work happen securely. Make secure. So it's, you know, that those are all the tagline, but make remote work happen. So. Uh, why is JumpCloud uniquely positioned to do that, and why target the SME space? Well, um, the small, medium businesses, they really were left behind in many of these larger solutions. And really, they, have to, they should have, and they deserve to have the same tools that, that the bigger enterprise-grade software and companies have. We think securing an organization should be both easy, but also cost effective. Since SMEs are often nimble, cloud forward, tech savvy, we really saw this perfect opportunity to target a market that could quickly realize the value of our platform. As a matter of fact, we give it to you for free for up to 10 users. And you try it and there's no, no limit for that full product. Really, we give small organizations a chance to experience the benefits of Jump Cloud and then take us along as they scale. Now you mentioned, uh, you know, that you, you you'd have a video or uh, a demo that you can show us. Uh, you know, can you tell us a little bit about what that is? Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, this demo is going to be able to let you see the Open Directory platform, bringing identities from anywhere, whether they started in an HRS system or another directory, bringing them into Jump Cloud, being able to manage your devices, tying it all together. Our own Chase Dowling, who's a principal strategist, created this great video, and it's, 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 it's awesome. I hope you enjoy it. All right. Welcome to Jump Cloud's Open Directory platform. In the next few minutes, I'm going to quickly walk through some of the key features that are available to you out of the box for up to 10 users and 10 devices. Right now, I'm logged into our admin portal, so already you can see a bunch of information about the organization coming up, as well as these customized widgets in terms of upcoming passwords, new users, and other pieces of information I need to know as an admin. 
Next, we'll look at our users. And this is how we bring security and identity all together into one platform. When you click on a user, you can automatically see highlights, say for example, devices that they're bound to, groups they're a part of, applications they have access to, as well as their last known location, leveraging our directory insights. There's several different ways to get users in and out of JumpCloud, so both manual as well as direct integrations with Workspace, Microsoft 365, Active Directory, as well as several HRS applications. You can also set up your own custom API integration or skim integration. And you can also see it across different stages, so for those or users that are coming into the organization, currently with us, or have left. The real power around users is the group associations that they have access to. This governs applications, radius authentications, and more. Say, for example, also have updates. So I can review here to add Brian and Emily, and also remove Ross. Now that we have those users within our groups, we can leverage across several different cloud protocols. So for example, having a cloud LDAP, setting up radius servers, doing it easily, as well as having a different primary authentication and serving as MFA as well. And then for all of our single sign-on applications. So we already have over 800 applications pre-built out of the box, many with identity and provisioning capabilities. And you can also create your own SAML app or URL bookmarks. To get a sense of what this looks like for the user side, we can quickly hop over and see what a user panel looks like as configured information. I can update my profile as well as set security information such as reset my password, update multi-factor authentication, and download the JumpCloud agent. Speaking of the JumpCloud agent, let's talk about how we manage devices. So we can manage cross operating systems across Mac, Windows, and Linux, as well as iOS devices. And so here you can see a quick overview of your fleet, the number of devices that are in it. And within our Jump Cloud agent, we're pulling over 200 different data points about that device into your user console. You can see users that are bound to it, device groups, as well as policies being applied to the machine. Within our devices and device groups, this is how you can leverage a one-to-many approach and also have several different policies applied to many different devices. Looking into our policy management, we're covering across each one of those OSs, as well as keeping them up to date with OS patch management. Here we'll have several different update groups that you can apply different updates and policies to. We also give you options to run commands right out of the box as well as our Apple MDM, where you can actually configure your zero-touch deployments for your organization. Now when we're thinking about access, we want to bring it all together and apply principles of zero trust by putting together some conditional access policies. In conjunction with push MFA right out of the box, you can enforce different policies of access based on the user portal, SSO applications, and LDAP. You can also create conditional lists that will also hit our radius servers. And again, you can see what's happening across everything within your organization from our directory insights page, both providing a sample view as well as JSON for specific information. So thanks for that great demo. Where can people go if they want to find out more information about Jump Cloud and some of the technologies you've talked about today? Well, thank you, Brian. Uh, the best place to go is start at the at the website www.jumpcloud.com, and from there you can be able to see blogs, marketing material, information about the product, as well as links to do a live chat or try the product for free for ten users. Thanks for taking the time to VM blog today and being part of our mega series. Oh, thank you very much for having me. All right. It's our pleasure.